no go. This yeah. is this is a this is a Zerful no go zone. No soap. Ready. Soap. You. You, All right, uh, so I'm going to bump it up to fastest speed. See how this goes. And uh, if really attentive people watching my channel will note I've minimized freaking everything. I'm not even going to worry about what's happening on most of my planets anymore. It's like who cares? Fuck them. <laughs> they should be able to handle themselves by now. <laughs> I've been guiding them for thousands of years. <laughs> <laughs> so I was having Shazrak serious. interface is audaciously laying claim to one of my systems. Destroy them. Wipe them out. Wipe them out of the face of the I, galaxy. I may have to. What system are they laying claim to anyway? Ah, oh, leader died. <sighs> and we're at fastest, which means hundreds of years are going. Oh, we can get a cyborg. Yeah, let's get a yes. cyborg leader. Do it. What could possibly go wrong? Well, you were asking me before if I have um, what policy would I have in place? The uh, economic policy is mixed economy. Food policy is dietary balance. Which one? Oh, wealth creation. You were thinking I should be doing. No. What were you, what were you suggesting I switch up that would make people happy? Um, you have to do it through the species interface on um, set default rights to living standards, uh, social welfare, since you probably can't do utopian abundance. Let's see, government, and then demographics. Set default rights. So I got social welfare. You have that already? Yeah, I've already got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, I would it's have like plus five k energy credits, and uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I feel I feel like I did have that discussion before. I just couldn't remember. Yeah. Ooh, my. Yeah, it has been a while. My zero is not going. Oh, I stopped buying zero. Yeah, I'm not buying like everything anymore because I had a little uh, energy crisis where I was only I was actually losing energy credits for every month for some reason. I can't really remember what yeah, happened you... there. If you aren't psionic, I believe Zro does nothing. Well, I'm not personally psionic. Like just flat out nothing. Well, that's a personal failing that you should resolve. You should fix I knew, that. I knew you were psionic. going to say that. <laughs> because, you see, I'm psionic. <laughs> it's, a, it's a joke. I also got some refugees from the Ixeldar Star Collective. Welcome, friends. Come. Come into my parlor. I mean... Come into my parlor, said the turtle to the flies. <sighs> hmm. The price for, of food is now uh, dropping slightly. And I've capped out on. Uh, I'm making credits. everything. <laughs> uh, that's not true. I'm buying a bunch of food all the time. <laughs> buying all the time. Buying all the time. Buying all the time. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm only four jobs away from having unemployment on this planet. It's crazy. Clearly, you need to have a purge. Yeah. But should I have the original purge or one of the uh, follow-ups? Um, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> there was a wasn't there a movie called The Purge, and then there was like a sequel, and then uh, no, maybe, maybe, yeah. yes, <laughs> yes. I, if so, I don't know it. <laughs> it's like about what if it was legal one day a year to kill people. <laughs> It's, I didn't see it. It sounded it sounds like a sci-fi channel movie. <laughs> I believe it was originally a movie that became a USA Network series. Ah, yes, one of those. I, I'm pretty sure that it was supposed to be some sort of uh, warning to society. Yeah, probably. You know, I'm I'm glad somebody's standing up against that uh, 
that movement that's been going on in our society to make murder legal one day a year. <laughs> you know, not just American cinema, but all cinema has a long and glorious history of disguising exploitation as some kind of parable. <laughs> <laughs> The purpose of this movie is to warn us of what would happen if uh, kinky schoolgirls were all put in a prison together. Because we can't allow that to happen. <laughs> that, that, that's so we want everyone to be aware of that that possibility. I kind of wonder if uh... who knows if any of those changes I made just took effect. Go on, I'm sorry. Yeah, probably not. I kind of wonder if, if all of the remaining empires out there are just not slave sellers because they haven't been putting anything on the slave market. We did it, boys! <laughs> yeah, we... I mean, we didn't wipe out slavery, but... We did it, boys. We did free all the... I'm sorry, uh, what part of we did it, boys, did you not understand? <laughs> all of it? What if slavery was legal, but only one day a year? A cautionary <laughs> tale, to be sure. Insert thinking emoji. <laughs> oh, please I'll, accept this gift. I'll I will you, accept your 30,000 credits. I'll tell you, we can insert your thinking emoji. Oh, let's see here. Okay. 30,000 credits. Why would my subject just suddenly give me all these credits? I mean, I'll accept it, but... Lag and choose refugees fleeing from the Ixodar Star Collective have arrived. Damn it, I got somebody got all organized crimey. <laughs> Fire them. Into well, the sun. But now I have to figure out what freaking district he's in charge of. <laughs> and that's a bigger deal than you might think. Well, I may be able to help with that. Oh well, I mean I know I can go into the leader menu, I just uh yeah, there he is. So I could fire... He's the Malagu sector, so I can uh, go to the Malagu oh, yeah, sector. Yeah. Or you can go to the planets and sectors option, F4 on the right, on the left. Right, left, same difference. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, planets and sectors, here we go. So all i got to do is find the guy with the organized crime. Although on this screen, it doesn't actually show their traits. Oh yeah, you could just fire him and then go in this way to hire a new one. Gotcha. Or I could just let the I could just let the mafia uh, four-eyed slug monster be the ruler for a while. Cause who cares? Yeah, I mean, if it's not actually creating any, uh, it's just things. kind of amusing to me that I got this mafia slug guy in charge. All right, and then I go to the plants right. and sectors and get a new leader who is less of a scumbag. I got a gateway. You certainly did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. 32-year-old uh, monster guy is now in charge. We found a new colony. Alien megastructure built. Hmm. I wonder who did that. I don't know, but whoever they are, they must be stopped. Yes. Yes, we must. Increase our bust. Me, bro. <laughs> yes, we must increase our bust. The bigger the better the tie to the sweater. <sighs> Let's see. Well, fastest oh, speed definitely does seem to be going a little bit faster, so yeah, I'm losing uh I'm actually at a loss on consumer goods now, so that's a thing. Probably because I replaced some mineral producing stuff or something. Yeah. Now you just I just Go created a new mega structure. That's fine. Yeah, I'm already buying that one. I mean, I, I'm not. No, I'm not like. Oh my god, my game is broke. I'll never be able to recover. <laughs> but I'm kind of like, oh, that's fine. I, don't know. Fine. I actually have a something that's pretty, pretty clearly suboptimal. And I've got a cyborg uh, teddy bear monster running one of my planets. So that's fun. Well, it's good that you are uh, an equal opportunity employer. The Science really Nexus Central structure. Hub is now in place, equipped with a state-of-the-art singularity reactor. Our engineers are preparing to add the next most challenging segment of the facility, the four research wings. It will be fitted. What, what? There's more stuff to build? Oh, damn it. 
Stay with Pioneer <laughs> Technology. Also provided housing. We've come a long way, baby, to get where we got to today. The Human Star Republic have taken on the challenge of building a science nexus. Something that we already have, of course. A oh, research yeah. institute so technically advanced that it could revolutionize the scientific process completely. You know, if for not... If not for the fact that we already have one and are revolutionizing the scientific process completely already. Yeah, we're we're researching if it's <laughs> we're we're researching if it's even possible for the turtles to fucking get over themselves. We'll see if this is a possibility. It might <laughs> well, take I can a while. Answer that already. It might the take answer a while. is no. <laughs> no, we cannot. We've developed yeah, the Centauri system is bustling with activity as engineers are assembling the initial build site, regardless of whether they fail or succeed. Trying alone has earned them a place among the great forerunners of our time. I find it interesting that regardless of whether they fail or succeed, the only way you could fail is if your empire got destroyed. Like, you just give up. Like, they got distracted before... and did something else. Yeah, I mean, I suppose, too, but that's not really failure. That's just putting it on permanent hold. My question now is, um, is there any technological way to knock the turtles onto the back of their shells so that they can't right themselves? Nope, no way possible. It is uh, not a thing they they've can developed happen. something called Physically a stick, and it lets them turn over with ease. So I, I have the, <laughs> the option. stick allows them to crank it with ease. <laughs> I have the options. A testament to the ingenuity of intelligent life. As always, they're overreaching. That's what I chose. <laughs> humans. Well, what do any of those mean? Is that a diplomatic Absolutely message I would get? Absolutely nothing. No, okay. I don't, I don't think so. It's just flavor text. Yeah. I guess. Um... I am going to say a testament to the ingenuity of intelligent life. Thank you. Which, you know, kind of makes you wonder why it's happening there, but... Ooh. Burn. The line on the station. Well, time to start building more um, fleets then, because it looks like I'm going to have to go punish the, the foxes for selecting rude flavor text. <laughs> careful they might like it powerful communications rays have been added to the strategic coordination center enabling our strategists to issue orders to our ships throughout the galaxy these state-of-the-art arrays are powerful enough to burn through any possible jamming and the quantum entangled single signal is utterly unhackable excellent so that one's just done done i don't have to like pump another billion freaking minerals into that do i <laughs> no i do Maybe. i have to upgrade it yep, yep. Most of them, I think, have four uh, tiers. But they like they do stuff at least. Yeah. Yeah. Each each successive tier does produce more for you, which is pretty nice. They're not just entirely vanity projects. Not entirely. <laughs> not entirely. I like how my uh, the the Alpha Refuge system, uh, which was the capital of the. Uh, the robot fallen empire so it's got this like uh dark gray shiny dark gray and green neon green uh ring world except for one section which is uh silvery and blue and there's a little gap it doesn't quite match up <laughs> one of these is not like the other Yeah, Earth is eventually going to have unemployment. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. Shimmering Pearl. We have some pretty fancy planet names from some of these weirdo alien worlds. Inhabited, of course, by weirdo aliens. Yeah, but how do they taste? Well, you know, we don't eat all of the alien species that we come across. Only Why the ones not? that seem like they'd be really good in soup. I hear fox soup is pretty good. That's not, it's actually, not, it's not what I've heard. So good. There's a different, a different ally that I've heard about their delicious soupiness. Mm. Can't imagine which one that is. Mm -hmm. I wish you could reconstruct the uh, broken ring worlds that are in the Delta Refuge and Central Processing. Ah, freaking dying leader. 
Jerks. Jerks. How dare they? I know. How dare they not be immortal? That's a scientist, so now I have to find which freaking ship this was. Well, I guess I could just let a science vessel just sit around. <laughs> but might as well have them actually um might as well just have a robot pop in there and just assist whatever the hell they were doing before I uh yeah the Copernicus no orders why can't you guys just figure out that I want you to go back to doing what you were doing before your leader died <laughs> Zerftopia has built a gateway. Overreaching as always. Ooh, I think that means I get to attach some uh, trade nexus. Mm -hmm. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think you're allowed to. I think he might be allowed to. Once again, I click some things. I hear a sound. I don't see any visuals. I just move on and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works. Well, I don't know if it's working or not. <laughs> that's, that's all. Ooh. We've got applied superconductivity seven. Well, hey, you're you're actually collecting that to uh, trade value in that system now, huh? Is there? And which system? The Collingath system, the one that you just built the uh, the what now? Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like that's Who's the it? only reason I built that was so that I could get the trade out of here. The two trade value. Yep. <laughs> hey. Two trade is two trade. He's optimizing, man. And how long is it going to take to uh, recoup the uh, the energy credits that you spent on that? I can He's also get there fast it. if I need to now. He's playing the <laughs> long game, all right? Like, if we ever go to war with these guys, man, boop. <laughs> That's the sound effect all, I got a bunch of Zerftopia <laughs> yes, fleets the sound effects. hanging around in my system again. And uh, are they upgrading or what the hell are they doing? They just I gotta find a way to kick these Zerftopia fleets out of here. Let me see. Is there still Zerftopia fleets? Yes, in your <laughs> yes, there are <laughs> in the Lawam system. Ever, how are you? How are you not keeping track of your own fleets? <laughs> I thought I sent them all to the same spot. Yeah, but this just happens to be one of my stations. What the heck? Maybe I gave you this place? I don't think so. I think I fought... I think a human shed uh, blood, sweat, and wait, tears wait, wait. fighting robots for that They're system. all there. Yeah, like your entire Why fleet. So I, I, these, I had I, sent I, all these guys to Sinistra. <laughs> I'm going to do, like, a red wedding. I'm going to, like, murder all of your fleets right in the middle of, like, hey, guys, come in here and get free upgrades. Murder. <laughs> no, no, so I sent all these guys to Sinistra, and then I just pushed the upgrade button. The Sinistra not, and Sinistra has a bunch of stuff on it, so why the heck did they go back to your space? Because it wasn't all of my fleets before. Were they all of my fleets were not upgrading. Sinistra at that point? I don't know. I sent them there a lot. Like, three of them were at least sitting there a while ago. Right. Well, if they're not actually there yet, then they that won't work. They'll upgrade where. The, no, no. But the three of place. them were in my space. Like only one of them was in. Last I checked, only one of them were in were in his space, and then suddenly all of them were in his space. Mm -hmm. So I've got them all in the right spot here. I think you've got an. You I think you've got feeling. a fox admiral as a thing for humans. <laughs> Do you have, uh, um, I mean... I'm, I'm just watching are, this are time, you, sure. Are you building anything out of that station? Not that I'm aware of. Well, maybe that's your problem. You're not aware. Okay. I've got an energy nexus on a planet that no longer has any uh, generator districts, so I probably should do something different with that. That does have some energy jobs. It does produce some energy yeah, jobs. Yeah, it produces like two energy jobs. I, I yeah. can make it a commercial zone and I've got more jobs. Because this is That's it's true. at this point it's it's about like oh crap, I'm going to have unemployment on this planet now. That's true. That is fair. Bloody well right to say. 
I'm getting minus 810 uh, crime on this one planet from jobs. Probably don't need all of these alls of judgment right now. Oh wow, the Zerftopia uh, guys are in some kind of merchantile agreement with the Walker Bulls. It's a research agreement. I hope you learn a lot from the um, like second to last place. I learned a lot there. about tr about love. Learning a lot about accidentally muting yourself. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Well, it is about time to uh, end the episode. When we come back next time, uh, looks like the, uh, Speed 3 is working out pretty well. We should have probably tried this a little while ago. <laughs> yeah, probably should have. Oh, well. Catch you guys. Uh, See you next time, everyone. Next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.